Hi guys, welcome to Sunday, the end of the Elite Eight. I have to say, thankfully, the end of the Elite Eight, it's been very tough. I mean, we, we have just not been spot on at all. Uh, it's been probably one of the roughest streaks I've had in many, many years. Um, and yeah, you know, a lot of you know that I've been going through COVID and, uh, and I think the post COVID has been even worse, you know, uh, the fatigue, uh, it's just everything, you know, the post COVID is really rough. Uh, but Hey, that's, you know, uh, my clients expect winners and they're not getting winners right now. And, uh, and it's been tough, you know, we've, we've, we've gone up and down, but lately there's no up. Uh, so, so I feel really terrible about that. And, and I wanted to come in here. I feel better actually. So I wanted to come in here and, and give you guys a uh, free pick in the elite eight, uh, for today, which, um, which I really like. And the question everybody's asking is St. Peter's, what is, is that Cinderella bubble going to burst today against North Carolina? And my free pick says, absolutely, St. Peter's bubble will burst today against North Carolina for many reasons. Now, yeah, St. Peter's beat Kentucky, but you have to think, Kentucky is a name, really. That, that's what it is. It's a, like an institution, a basketball institution. But what has Kentucky really done this season? I think they've been a pretty mediocre ranked team, you know, throughout the season. Yeah, they've had some good wins. But then they have some terrible losses, you know, and, and it's just, uh, to me, Kentucky is just not, you know, n not nothing to be, uh, you know, valued on. Um, and then, yeah, they beat, they beat Purdue the other day and, you know, but Purdue just, uh, that loss is completely on Purdue. It has nothing to do with St. Peter's. I mean, Purdue had the lead at the half. They had the lead very late in the game and they let him back in the game um you know st peter's is not is not an offensive team so so if you let back if i mean if you're leading and you lead, you know you let him back in the game that's that's totally on purdue i just don't think st peter's did anything particularly great um to you know to win that game and then you have you know a north carolina team that um maybe two months ago we wouldn't be talking elite eight and now we certainly are talking elite eight and we're certainly talking final four with them i i really like north carolina in this game i mean you have to think back only march 5th this was uh three weeks ago um they went to duke uh and you have to remember this game they went to duke and they beat duke by 13 points at duke so are we to judge duke and St. Peter's on the same level? No way, you know, no way. And, and not only that, they beat Baylor uh, the other day by seven, but they led Baylor by 13 at the half. Is a team like St. Peter's gonna be able to come back from a 13 point deficit against North Carolina with, with very little offense? Or, or are we to think that their defense is better than Baylor? You know, I just, I think we're not on the same uh, level right here. You know, I love the way North Carolina beat UCLA the other day by seven. So I just think, you know, I, I think it, it will all boil down to how fast North Carolina starts this game. That first half is gonna indicate a lot of it. If, if uh, if North Carolina can take a, a, a good lead into the second half, I just don't see St. Peter's coming back. And St. Peter's is a team that is, has not yet gone into desperation. And that's, that's key. I mean, uh, they were tied with Kentucky at the half. They were only down four to Purdue at the half. That's not desperation. Desperation is double figures. Um, at, can, can North Carolina put them down in, by double figures in that first half? Absolutely, they can. And, uh, and that's where we'll see what kind of team St. Peter's is. But if you ask me, once they're down by double figures, they're gonna fold. They're, they just don't have the answer. They're gonna stop playing uh, defense to play offense because they need to play offense to win the game. 
Um, you know, they're only going to play defense if the game is tight. And, uh, and you know, and I love eight and a half. I love eight and a half. I, I think this is a double digit win. So, so eight and a half, I'll take it any day. And anyway, guys, I hope you guys are having a great Sunday. Um, I hope you guys jump on North Carolina and, uh, and let's get out of this really bad funk. And, uh, and I believe with you guys, that's exactly what we're going to do. Have a great day, guys.